When carefully grooming your pastoral paradise, it's easy to let your troubles slip away. Breathe a long, slow sigh of relief. Look up to the bright sky and remember, you are hurtling through an uncaring, empty void. Starlight Dale draws its inspiration from a lot of games, Stardew Valley most obviously, but there is some strange alchemy going on in the background. Specifically, there's Duskers. In some ways, Starlight Dale answers the question, what if Stardew Valley were Duskers? I know you've all been asking yourself that question. It keeps you up at night. I am, of course, delivering this monologue to my reflection in a sleepless, rainy midnight. Duskers is bleak. Like, Mega bleak. You're thrown into a world where you appear to be humanity's last survivor. You and your trusty robot companions must hop across the void, salvage what you can from the derelict remains of your once thriving species, and keep hopping until your ship grinds to a halt and you embrace your fate. Your goal, if you have a goal, is to determine what became of humanity. Or just survive a goal at which absolutely no one ever succeeds. Duskers is most famous for its unusual command line interface. While I adore the intimate relationship this builds with your various named robots, I'm not going to implement this in any way for Starlight Dale. What Duskers does better than any other game is both the micro and macro economy of its gameplay. At the macro scale, you are on a ship in deep space. Alone, you must travel from derelict to derelict in search of scrap to repair your ships and drones and to fuel your journey through the stars. It's simple, yes, and perhaps derivative of Faster Than Light's similar economy, but it works. It works in a way so few explore, loot, build systems work, it creates excitement over every single discovery. With so few resources to balance, and the numbers for any expenditure being so seemingly small, every piece of scrap has meaning. There is a brief moment of joy with each new ship explored. Damn it, I love this system. You pour over the map wondering what new dangers each location hides. Each class has meaning. Each ship might suffer from a decaying orbit or another danger. In a single snapshot, you learn all you need to know, but it's never overwhelming. There could be more to it, there could be hazards. My take on this system adds a few probes, torpedoes, and scramblers, but those are just icing on a simple, delicious space cake. The cream filling of Dusker's delectable pastry of delights comes from its intimate interiors. I use intimate a lot when describing Duskers to people. While the interface might make you think you'd feel distant from the on-screen action, it doesn't. It instead feels like you are whispering commands to your friends and watching them go about their work. It's that work, its simplicity and precision, that lives at the core of Duskers. Doors, rooms, generators, and interfaces, each manipulated in clear, simple ways but combined to great complexity. Duskers gets away with essentially removing combat by making each space into an interesting puzzle to fumble through. These systems, a clear economy and simple, precise exploration, are what make Duskers work better than any of the dozens of roguelikes released in recent years. These systems create stakes. You know what the consequences of both failure and success, and you must choose again and again if now is the right time to push forward or to fall back. You get to decide if any struggle is worth it. Is it worth the risk to open that door? Is it worth it to leave someone behind? Is it worth it to lose everyone? Sometimes, even a loss is a success. That's the funny thing about losing everything. Duskers lets you feel the terror of being that one last snuffing out at the end of the universe. Imagine the terror when you have so much more to lose. Thank you for watching this video about the inspiration for Starlight Dale, the latest game in development at Crooked Thimble. We're often loath as creators to talk about the games which inspired us. We, we talk about it amongst friends, but rarely to the press and rarely to the public, but if we hide what it is that makes us make the things we make, 
we're never going to move forward as a medium. So mixed in with the rest of our videos where we talk about some feature or another or make silly jokes about eggplants, uh, we here at Crooked Thimble will be releasing videos about what made us make the things we make. I hope you enjoy them. And if you want to see more of this, go check out patreon.com slash crookedthimble or check out our website at crookedthimble.com.